Hello viewers, welcome to another episode of website tutorial. In this video, I'll go, I'm going to share with you guys how you can easily create a good privacy policy in your WordPress blog. So guys, if you are here for the first time, hit the subscribe button so that when I drop the next video, you will be the first to be updated. So guys, do you really need to add a privacy policy to your website? Of course, you need to not just because of your viewers but if you tend to use google Adsense, is one of the things that you need to make sure is on your website so guys a privacy policy actually is a document that is required by law so this document contains all the information you collect about your visitors or rather your audience that visit your site so it's important you have these things on your site so your viewers can know that okay this is how your site functions so adding a privacy policy to your website as a blogger or a freelancer or even as a business owner we not only make you feel professional but even as a beginner you need to add these things because it will make your, your visitors or audience see you as a professional blogger or a professional freelancer so in this video i will show you how you can easily do that using either a plugin or using the default privacy policy that comes with wordpress so that's one good thing about wordpress when you install a new wordpress especially if you are buying from a good host it comes with privacy policy and all you have to do is just to click on publish and this and the page will be published on your website so our website actually collect information about your visitor in different ways so it depends on how you set up your website so guys if you want to create a privacy policy you need to make sure it complies with general data protection regulation so this is very very important it is even on this website so that's it so why you should include the privacy policy is that information you collect about users visiting your website they need to know that okay this is what you collect and also the method you use in collecting such information should be stated in the privacy policy so these things are really important for website whether new website or old website so the first method is to use an to use the default privacy policy session so after creating a wordpress website when you click on the page area So the page area is loading so you have to wait for it to finish loading Since my data connection is really really slow right now. So this is the page the page section page section of my WordPress. You can see all the pages that I have here. So this privacy policy you see here was pre-generated by WordPress during installation. So all I needed to do was to click on quick edit and then change this thing from pending or draft to publish and then you update so this will update the privacy policy on the website but if you can't find this the next thing you need to do if you can't find it on this very page is to go to settings and then you click on go to settings section and you click on policy privacy so after clicking on privacy wait for the next page to load up so that's the page where we are going to add a new privacy policy to privacy policy page to our website so guys on this page you have to screw down and then you create you, you click on create but if you have a privacy policy page already, it will appear here and you click on use this page.
so i have one already which is right here so what i have to do is just to click on use this page and it will make use of the privacy policy page but if you don't find this option here just click on create a new privacy policy page here so after clicking on this button right here it will bring out the page where you can easily create a new privacy policy page which is very very easy So the page is still loading so we have to wait so this website right here is where you can generate a good privacy policy uh, for your website as you can see here, the, the privacy policy on this website complies with GDPR role so it is very very okay for your website so you just have to state what your website is all about and the kind of information you want to gather from your visitors and you can see here you can try it for free all you have to do is just to put in your website URL and then you generate. So you can see the one that is generated here. You can see how, how simple it is. You can copy and then use on your website. So now this is the page here. You can see after clicking on create new privacy policy, it automatically created a new one for us. You can see here and, and also named the privacy policy page for us. You can see the, the name here, privacy policy. You can see how easy it is to use the default privacy policy generator on WordPress. So you can also make use of a plugin. If you want to use a plugin, there's a plugin for that too. It is called Lega Pages. You can also install that plugin on your WordPress by going to the plugin section and clicking on add new plugin. So if you don't want to make use of a plugin, you want to use an external source. So that's where this website comes in. This is the website you can use. You just have to copy the privacy policy here or put your website URL and then you generate your own privacy policy. So now this is the page where you can easily search for the right plugin for privacy policy and the name is Lega Pages. So this is the plugin right here. So after searching for the plugin, you just have to install it and then you get everything running. So I have the plugin already, which I have already installed and, and activated on my website. So I don't have to install again. So after installing the plugin, you just have to click on Lega Pages right here and you click on Create Lega Pages. So in this page, this is where you can choose the particular page that you want to create, ranging from privacy policy, disclaimer to other pages you can see them right here even the dmca cookie privacy policy terms of use and so on so guys that is it for this video if you find this video helpful please don't forget to hit the like button and also if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe peace out guys see you in the next video have a wonderful day bye